Today on the channel is WrestleMania weekend, and the biggest part of it is the WWE Mattel reveals. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another WWE Mattel Reveals video, of course, on the cusp of WrestleMania weekend in Philadelphia. And some of these reveals, they go totally to the extreme. But a very big weekend, of course, is WrestleMania for a lot of reasons. Big for the indies, obviously big for WWE. It's a two-night event. You got the NXT, you got the fan conventions, you got a lot going on. But there in the WWE Superstar, there's old Robert, there's Bill, there's Steve, there's the Mattel crew. And they're showing us peaks under the tent of what we're going to have in the future in the Elite's basic main event, I guess. Uh, Ultimate, Coliseum Collection, Retro, all the different WWE Mattel figures that really carries us throughout the rest of this year. But at least till San Diego Comic-Con for the next round of announcements, which we'll see at the end of July. But some big, big time stuff. Some stuff we knew that was coming. Some first time seeing some things. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And a dash, just a pinch of the other. And we're going to dive through these reveals, go one by one, and briefly discuss about them, talk to them, see what's going on here. We're going to look at it via my handy dandy iPad. Shout out to the iPad right here. But let's dive into the reveals here. Let's get right to it. And now I will probably have more reveals as this is just Thursday's reveals so far. They'll probably add a few things to the case over the next couple of days. There's also a panel on Sunday. So we'll talk more things that are missed out of this in, of course, the toy news video on Saturday. And then maybe we'll have another special video on Sunday or Monday, depending what is announced, what is talked about, all that kind of fun stuff. So stay tuned to that here in the future but let's dive into things right now and first thing we got is a target exclusive that apparently if you're watching this on thursday goes up for pre-order friday at target it is another box set exclusive very similar to the then now forever well it's the smackdown box set looks like something straight out of the titantron live days we do got a booker t tell me he didn't say that we got stone cold steve austin with milk we're reenacting, of course, that grocery store uh, challenge fight match from SmackDown many years ago. Very cool to see that. And then very cool, the other part of that four-pack is Eddie Guerrero and John Cena. A cool throwback to an old-school adrenaline two-pack in the Jax days. What's old is new again. I always love that version of Cena and Eddie. Very cool to get modern takes from Mattel right here. This will be going up for sale once again Friday. We got a lot of pre-orders Friday, of course, at uh, Target. So be ready for that one as well. We'll talk about that a little bit throughout this video here. Now, they did show another fan takeover. Cast your vote which one you want between John Cena and Randy Orton. Amazon exclusive. Of course, the Ray is supposed to be shipping next week. We'll see if that does end up happening there. To me, I like Randy Orton enough, but man, his figures are very boring for me. They just all are kind of a guy in trunks, and that's what he is at the end of the day. He does got tattoos and sometimes a title belt, but really looking like uh, I need a little bit more. I wish there was a little bit more excitement. And John Cena, nothing against Cena. Uh, he's the character that's had the most action figures of any wrestler of all time. Now we got another option here in the fan takeover. Three iconic looks to John Cena. I'm sure we'll get all three of them as ultimates eventually someday. Uh, but we did see those. So you can cast your vote. There's going to be a QR code. I'm sure it'll go around social media in the next day or two. Cast your vote for whatever Cena you do want. So I guess we'll stay tuned to see which one ends up winning on that one. And then we move into some elite. So we're going to mix around. We're going to go kamikaze and we're going to go via our friends over at Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10% as they did put a lot of pictures up here. Now we're going to start with a little bit of uh, the Monday Night Wars. Of course, an exciting line for many of us, especially those that live through the wars. Oh, I got a little PTSD. Got some horror stories of my time, of course, back in Georgia. Oh, shout out to Georgia. But we are getting a classic DDP. We can put that basic to the side if you want to. You got the rib tapes going on. You got the jeans. You got the classic DDP. And I think when most people close their eyes and they think of DDP, this is probably what they think of. So that is coming to the Monday Night Wars. And it looks like there's two versions and two different jeans colors. You like the light jeans. You like the dark. Well, you're in luck. You can get both of them here. Looks like he will be a chase version uh, here in the future later on in 2024. 
Then a two-pack we knew was coming, or I guess not a two-pack, and we're not sure exactly what line. I would think Legends line, but it could be straight Elite line, or or it may be one of those Mattel Creations two-pack. We haven't heard as of now. It'll be a little clearer in the future, but it is the Headbangers. About eight months ago, what is time? We heard they were signed to a Legends deal. We knew this was coming. Well, the day is here. We are getting the Headbangers. Now, speaking of tag teams, one tag team we saw nothing of right here, which makes my heart weep. Yes, it's weeping. Where's the Steiner Brothers? Where did the Steiner Brothers go? It seems like they're off the table and disappeared. They had a quick one and done, and that's it. That's all we got. It's almost like a Super 7 uh, Simpson situation here. A lot of people mad, of course, at Super 7. They lost the license, all this. Well, you didn't get me the core family right off the bat. Well, like most toy lines, as I always do say, they don't want to give you the core family because they want to Easter them out, Easter egg them out between sets so they get you to buy some of the other figures along the way because a lot of people would buy that family, call it good. If we got the classic Steiner Brothers instead of what we got as the first Steiner Brothers last year, people would have said, I got my Steiners, I'm done. Well, you give a big pop of pump, you get a dog face gremlin late WCW. Okay, we know they're coming. I'm going to get these, but I'm really holding out for the others. I think that was Mattel's plan. Now we're looking at no Steiner Brothers. Nothing revealed right here. The weekend isn't over yet. Are going to keep our fingers crossed. What, Todd? Todd McFarlane woke up from the couch today. Todd usually sleep through these wrestling things. Todd just said, he told me, he is going to keep his toes crossed. Yes, there doesn't get anything better than that. You can keep your fingers crossed all day long. But when Todd McFarlane from the couch keeps his toes crossed, business picks up. I fully expect to see the Steiner Brothers by the end of the weekend, thanks to Todd and his magical toes. But we'll see what happens. But in good news, we are getting the headbangers. So we do got that soft, good uh, skirts. Skirts, why not? And then shirts on them as well. Very cool. You know, from one headbanger to another, it takes one to know one. I'm here for the headbangers. And I'm also here for a little extremeness. I'm here for one of the kings of extreme, the old Sandman, of course. I'm an ECW diehard. You know I want this figure. I'm here for this. And we knew this was coming. This was leaked about a month ago. But we're seeing it in full glory right now. Classic Sandman. It looks like the Sandman from the cover of the ECW music album from back in the day. I remember waiting at Best Buy to get that way back in the day as well. Looks really, really good as far as Sandman goes. And then we get kind of the surfer Sandman, the all-American Sandman from early in his career. Uh, the one that got away from the Jax Classic Superstars days is there was a prototype of that one made, never released. Well, we're getting it from Mattel all these years later. I definitely prefer the more ECW version, and I think there's still meat on the bone for Sandman because I would love to see Mattel make the Jax one from way back in the day in the Ruthless Aggression line. I think they could do an amazing job with that, but that is almost figure perfection if you go back to the Jax one way back when. But I absolutely do love that Sandman. It looks very, very good. I'm here for both of those Sandmen. And then we continue on with some Ultimate Editions. We knew these were coming. We knew all about these. But we got Kevin Owens coming. And, of course, Kevin Owens, you can't have him without his partner in crime, Sami Zayn. A little disappointing for me, but not really. At the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. But I did just buy both their basics in these WrestleMania shirts. I was like, oh, those are two basics, kind of one-off. That's pretty cool to do. Well, then what happens? We get ultimates of both of those. So probably stick those basics in a crowd scene somewhere when I get my crowd set back up. I used to have a setup, if you guys remember, early on in the channel. I'm going to set that back up one of these days. I've been threatening to do it. I guess those guys will go to that, and I'll put these two ultimates on my shelf. But, of course, it does represent their big win at WrestleMania 39 last year that, of course, I was in the house for, as you guys remember. And then Cody Rhodes, an upgrade to his last ultimate. This one definitely is better. I do wish they had a, a different head scans with this Cody a little bit, though. So it is what it is, but it is a much an improvement over the last one, so we're here for that at the end of the day. Then we get back into some of the stuff we were shown here today. We got a little bit of a rock tribute, kind of. I guess it's a little bit of a, the Maya Via family. We saw the Maya Via 3-pack, which we unboxed on the channel. And then we got a statue of the rock. Very interesting. Of course, Rocky statue in Philadelphia, rock statue here, playing all the hits, I guess, in the statue game. Would love to see this release just as a figure. I don't know. It looks like it's probably just a figure gold spray, spray painted, but it does kind of look cool. I wouldn't mind something like that. Maybe that'd be a Mattel Creations exclusive or something. You never know. And then we did see, speaking of ultimates, we saw Batista ultimate, I guess, greatest hits. 
I do appreciate that he at least is a little bit different. He's got the blue tights on, or I should say uh, blue trunks on, and then he does got some black knee pads, and he's got a little bit different in the boots, a little different paint scheme, but it looks like we got the same uh, you know, Raw SmackDown contracts, the same heads. I don't hate it. I like that they gave us some different color in the trunks. That definitely appeases me. And then you got different heads so you can mix and match between the two. Make them as different, use different hands, things like that. It truly feels like a new figure that way. Maybe it's just me justifying it to myself. Who knows? But we do get the same Batista heads. And then possibly one of the best Ultimate Edition figures of all time. Finally getting a re-release. Going to make a lot of people happy. This is one of the ones over the four years on this very channel that I've heard so many times. I can't believe how limited this was. Why didn't they make more of this? And people have very short-term memories in the collecting game. Because this was an Amazon exclusive originally. And this is when the Ultimate Edition was pretty down. I really thought the line was probably going to be canceled. Seemed like Target didn't want them anymore. You guys, I've told that rigmarole story many times on the channel. But this rock, it's not like it sold out immediately on Amazon. It was up for quiet times. It came back in stock multiple times as well. People just passed on it or weren't collecting at the time. Well, now it is back. And like I said, one of my all-time favorite rock figures, possibly my favorite rock figure if we ever do a top 10 rock on the channel, uh, but I absolutely do love this one. And same like the Batista. Similar but different. You can mix and match. Put some different heads on them. Put one with the shirt on. One with the shirt off. Different hands. Voila. You got a different version of the rock. That's how I'm going to do that one for me. Now we turn our attention over to the Superstars line. You guys know me. I love the Superstars line, but I hate the Superstars line like a lot of you because they're so hard to track down in store. I still haven't found the two Andre the Giants I need. I got one off of line and it, of course, broke and snapped. Unbelievable. Still got to find two more Superstar Andre the Giants. Still on the hunt for those. I did find four Hulk Hogan's this week. That didn't help me in my Andre search, though. But we did see Tatanka. He's got his hatchet. He's ready to go. He's got his fringe jacket. And fringe is in. Oh, let me tell you. Fringe is all the rage right now. And we got Tatanka with a little bit of war paint as well. Got the red mohawk looking good. I'm here for that Tatanka. We also see in the background of him, we got Kurt Angle hiding back there. So Kurt Angle going to make that full court press. That's not the last of Kurt Angle we're going to see in this very video. So stay tuned for more of that. Big Boss Man coming, and I should say Tatanka Big Boss Man leaked about a month ago or so. We talked about it in the Toy News of the Week, but here's an official version of the Boss Man. Fits really good. I'm going to be a really good Superstars. He kind of fits in that mold of the Superstars characters. Thought that looks really good. And then we're getting a little box set here, and it's going to have a Rey Mysterio figure and Eddie's Lowrider. Pretty cool to see that. It looks like Rey's coming with that one. It's like a tracksuit Rey Mysterio, I guess, and you can never have enough Rays. But it feels like maybe we should have got Eddie Guerrero with this, or maybe Eddie and Rey together, or even better yet, Chavo and Eddie. Let's get Chavo back in the line, if only. But a lot of people are going to be happy to finally get Eddie's low rider in the in the line. I would assume this is one of the Reckon vehicles. That's my assumption here. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that would be the case. But I think a lot of people would be excited for that one. No doubt about it. And speaking of excitement, good friend of the channel, Cody Rhodes. He's got a big weekend. I don't know. Uh, you guys tell me. Hopefully he'll win the title. Will he? Will he? I think he will. We'll see what happens there. But we're getting his dad, the American Dream Ultimate Edition, Dusty Rhodes. Is that going to be the legend one that goes to a target here in the future? We'll see what happens there. But Dusty looking extra good here, extra styling and profiling. Of course, once again, we've seen a lot of these head sculpts in the past. Uh, mix and match, make them feel as different as you possibly can. That's the way to go. But I do like that we got Boss Man's hat and club. Make it feel a little bit different. Give them a little extra accessories. And of course, you got the polka dots shining through, looking pretty good there. Speaking of Ultimate Editions, we saw the Ultimate Mankind. I think that was uh, solicited and sold up for pre-order at Walmart a month ago, whatever that Collector's Con event was. We did see that Mankind with title belt, removable mask, a new head sculpt on that Mankind. Looks very interesting. It, it looks enough like uh, Mick Foley, but it looks like somebody else, and I just can't put my finger on it. Like Young Ween. All shout out to the band Ween. They are in uh, Pennsylvania. New Hope, Pennsylvania. own oh, Ween, of course. But looking good in Mankind. Of course, got the multiple head sculpts there. I'm leaning towards the one with the missing the, the teeth with the tongue sideways through it. That looks pretty cool if you ask me. And then we got Eddie Guerrero. He is my favorite wrestler because it says so on his shirt right there. That looks like a really good Eddie. Definitely leaps and bounds better than the last Eddie Ultimate. That one was pretty rough. Would love to see that as a redo eventually in the greatest hits. Maybe down the low road. Maybe three years from now. How about we call it three years, Mattel? We'll see what happens there. But I love the looks of this Eddie. You get the title belt, the extra heads. Going to be a hot one, this Eddie Guerrero. I think that's what a lot of people, when they close their eyes, they think Eddie Guerrero. 
that is what they think of. But then we're not done here. We got the old uh, Cody Rhodes there, that ultimate Cody. Or I guess, yeah, this is the ultimate Cody uh, without the jacket on, I do believe here. He does look like he's got a dip in his mouth or something. Is he dipping? Is he chawing? Has he got a thing of chaw in his mouth? Who knows what he's up to? Cody, a wild man. Just an absolute wild man. I guess this isn't. This is another elite or possibly a top picks because the next picture is that ultimate edition it looks like there. Looking very interesting as well. So we got some Cody's. No stranger to any toy line is Cody Rhodes, as we know. Then we're seeing the Ultimate Outsiders. Just went up for pre-order a week ago at Ringside Collectibles. Head over there once again. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Scott Hall and uh, Kevin Nash looking interesting. Scott Hall feels like a little bit of what we've had in the past. Kevin Nash feels very fresh with that new head sculpt and uh, different vest and body kind of look to him. Definitely feels different. I'm here for that Kevin Nash. I'm here for Scott Hall too. I'm here for both of them. Very excited about that. And then my main man, old Gunter, or he's still Walter to me, but Gunther, of course, these days here. Will he come out against Sami Zayn? I don't know. I can see him maybe losing to Sami Zayn, and maybe he will move on to the world title chase. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but Gunther looking interesting here. Different colors for him. I'm glad they mixed it and didn't make it just black and ultimate. They gave us some different colors, the more kind of maroonish color there. I'm here for that. Should be a fun ultimate. Three head sculpts with that one as well. Then we got to see a little bit, what is it, Elite 109. We saw Bailey, and Bailey you do for a new figure. It's a great update for Bailey here. I think that'll be a hot one. Who knows? She could win the world title, of course, at uh, WrestleMania as well. And you guys know I'm not the biggest Seth Rollins fan in the world. I mean, he is what he is, and I wouldn't say I grew up with him, but I remember him starting and beginning his wrestling career in my local area at the local shows and seeing him back in the locker room and things like that. Uh, an interesting duck for sure. But Seth Rollins, this uh, Ultimate Edition, absolutely amazing. This is one of the coolest figures in quite some time. This one could give Asuka a run for the money as Ultimate Figure of the Year. Looks absolutely wild and crazy. Like a young wild and crazy kids from Nickelodeon back in the day. Love this Seth Rollins. A must-have pickup for many. And then we're not done. We got an Ultimate Edition John Cena. No stranger to the Ultimate Editions. Heck, fan takeover. Vote for him if you want to. Three heads on this one. We got the new head sculpts on him as well. I like that a whole lot. You even get his little special towel that I think he keeps in his nightstand. I don't know what he uses it for, but he does. And he's never going to give up, as we can see right there. Never going to quit. That's what John Cena is going to do. Some may say you can't see him, but I see him here in the Ultimate line looking pretty good. And then we get old Jimmy Uso. No, not Jimmy. Take that back. It's Jey Uso. We get Jey Uso returning once again. A lot of Jey Uso figures over the last year or so, including Ultimates, Basics, you name it. Got another one on our way there. Then we got old Dirty Dom. I like this figure a whole lot. Looking really cool. Almost a two-in-one figure in a lot of ways. Uh, straight out of prison is Dominic right here. Love that one. That one's coming to us very soon. And then Rhea Ripley. I believe we had this originally in a basic. Now we're getting the elite version of her in white. Definitely a contrast as we usually see her in black, but she's white this time. Looking good from her mania. And then we do got another Finn Balor coming here as well. So Finn Balor, no stranger to the line. A really good looking figure right here. And the last one wasn't bad either with all the extra heads. So I'm excited for this Finn Balor figure. And then uh, we're really completing out the Judgment Day here as Damian Priest taking his time. Will he cash in the money in the bank? We'll have to see what happens right there. But Damian Priest looking good. Uh, getting some updates to our Judgment Day figures. Uh, really getting there and then of course after that we saw NXT talent and this is what I like and I hope we see more of I would hope at San Diego Comic-Con we see more of this it is some NXT talent is I got nothing against the main roster talent but a lot of the characters we seem to get very uh on a continual cycle let's just say well there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day it is a business you got to put those heavy hitters out there you got to get those and that's how you make your money of course Tony D'Angelo is he going to set the world on fire probably not but he is a first time in the line possible last time you never know how it may go but i would love to see more nxt talent give me chase you that's what i really want i'm ready to sign up for chase you i'm ready to throw up the you i'm ready to join up i would love to see basic andre chase i hope that comes i was hoping to see that mania weekend haven't seen that yet todd keep those toes uh <laughs> keep those toes crossed for me maybe we'll get that andre chase but I'm hoping Andre Chase is around in the future. But I'll take this Tony D'Angelo figure. Who knows? He could have a big NXT stand and deliver, as we know. A guy that we've never uh, forgotten about. We'll never forget you. Ricochet, back in action, of course, on Monday Night Raw. And WWE Speed, check him out on Speed. Uh, we got a new Ricochet figure coming. A very interesting looking one and colorful, as we usually see with Ricochet figures. Looking pretty good. And then we move on to old Trish Stratus. We got old lady Trish. And oh, I'm kidding there. She's not an old lady. She's still pretty hot for how old she is, of course. And she's probably just a couple years older than me. Maybe four or five years older. So she's doing all right for herself. And she's got a heart of gold. One of the nicest superstars of all time. 
time. Yes, I said it, one of the nicest of all time, but we do get a modern version of Trish Stratus. She had quite the run last year about this time of year. Who knows? Maybe we'll see Trish Stratus in the ring once again. Definitely a better head sculpt than the last version we got. No doubt about it there. And then we get Imperium. We talked about Gunter. I believe this is going to be that Elite Exclusive Mattel Creations 2-pack. We got Imperium coming here. We got him in Basics. Now we get him in Elite. Will we get an Ultimate? Probably not. But we do got those guys coming. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we did see that 4-pack once again. Now here's an interesting one. Now I do assume, and you know what happens when you assume. You got to be careful. But we got the Bushwhackers. And we talked about that as a rumor coming back to the line. We're here for the Bushwhackers. I love the Bushwhackers. I've told the story before. My dad's main wish when I was a kid was, man, I hope that Butch and Luke come this way so they lick my face. I wanted my face licked my whole life. Hopefully they come this way. My dad said that or he didn't. You guys will have to make up your guess on that in the comments down below. But we're getting the Bushwhackers dressed as Doink the Clown from, was that Survivor Series? I can't remember when that was from. Uh, but the Bushwhackers always here for a fun time and so is Doink the Clown. So we are getting those. It looks to be about a kind of an updated greatest hits almost, color changes, but we're due for some new Bushwhacker figures. Now, I'm assuming we're going to get extra heads with these so we can display regular Bushwhacker look and Doink the Clown Bushwhacker look. If not, they're just missing out on a license to print money because I'd buy two sets of those for sure in my collection. Bushwhacker Mania running wild. And then Sami Zayn Mania running wild once again. And Ultimate wasn't enough. Let's give him another Elite. He's an honorary Oos from back in the day in all red. Happier times in the bloodline as we know. And then another one I'm very excited about. I love this tribute gear. Tribute to Dusty Rhodes with the Dusty Rhodes shirt. It is Kevin Owens. Absolutely love this. Got the red elbow pad for the old Bionic elbow. Looking very cool right there. Then we did finally see some images. We've seen renders in the past. It is the LWO. Once again, during happier times. All sad times for the LWO. But we did see the LWO figures. Very, very cool. Can't wait to get these ones. I got to think sometime this summer. Weren't they saying like August? I don't know if that's still on pace for that. But I'm here for the LWO. I always love to build teams and have teams built out. And speaking of teams, they are in Philadelphia this week for WrestleMania. One of the greatest tag teams, if not the greatest tag teams, depending on who you ask of all time, it is the Dudley Boys. And it looks like old school Dudley Boys. Oh, man. Uh, bestill my ECW heart with these. Devon not quite done yet, but Bubba Ray a little farther along. Looking very cool. Can't wait to get more Dudley Boys in the collection. I'm sure we're going to get inundated with some more of those in the future. A little bit of basic look. It looks like we got Cody and Braun Breaker squaring off. Braun Breaker returned to the basic line, of course. And Cody's got kind of that hoodie vest that I think he stole from Randy Orton. I think he did, maybe. Who knows? But Cody, once again, no stranger to any toy line. And then one I'm very excited about. We knew this was coming. I think we talked about it in the toy news last week. We got a basic version of Roddy Piper. I really like the looks of this head sculpt. This is a very good one. I can see people popping this one off their basic, putting it on Elite or possibly an Ultimate. Looks pretty good in that Roddy Piper. I'm here for that. Then we got Kane. We've got a lot of Kane basics lately. And here's another one of a classic version of Kane. So if you need that, you missed the uh, former uh, Ultimate one. Maybe you want to grab this one here. And of course, uh, we do got after that Hulk Hogan is Python power. You got to watch out for the Hulkster's Python. It's a big one. It's like a Pepsi can. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Who knows? Uh, but Python Patrol, uh, Hulk Hogan looking good. Uh, we do got, uh, after that, we do got a very interesting one. Uh, translucent. Yes, you heard it right. Translucent. You can't see him. It's John Cena. I like things like this. This is a very cool one. Uh, we saw that with Seth Rollins in his coat. A little bit of translucency. Now we're going full translucent. And you know me. I love a translucent figure and a glow-in-the-dark figure. I'm here for that, John Cena. Then we move our attention over to the Legends line a little bit here. And we knew a lot of these were coming, but it looks like we got Farouk times two. It looks to be like he might be the chase, and that's how you display it. You put one with the full-on regalia on, one without. Make him as different as possible, as I always say. Then we got the Hulkster there. One of the classic Hulk Hogan's. When I close my mind, there's when I close my mind, oh, I try to. It never works. When I close my eyes, a lot of times, this is one of the Hulksters I think of. So I'm happy to get that. We might be doing a top 20 Hulk Hogan figures for 2024. Can you believe that? We always do our top 10 list, and we always do a top 10 Hulk Hogan because we get so many. This year, the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania, we very well may be doing a top 20 Hulk Hogan figures. It very well could happen. Stay tuned. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but moving on, the Legends line here. Kurt Angle, I mentioned earlier, he's coming back with a vengeance. Yes, a vengeance. It's true, it's true. We got Kurt Angle coming to the Legends line. That'll be very welcome there. 
We also some of the some of the other legends from the past, uh, Big Bubba Rogers, the Sultan, uh, Hulk Hogan with Qatar. We saw Captain Lou Albano. Uh, we also uh, Ichiban Hulk Hogan. We saw all those. We talked about those last week in the Toy News. Saw those officially right here. We also saw some Ultimate Edition Yokozunas, which people are finding right now in the store. So you might be checking your Target soon. Hopefully pre-order shipping soon as well. Uh, but we also saw it looks like to be greatest hits Tugboat and the Warlord and possibly Ultimate Warrior. Got to re-release those kind of things, I guess, is what we got to do. And we've seen uh, some of those in the past. Now they are here. It's funny, as when I was a kid, my stepmom, Tugboat, was her favorite wrestler. My dad, Warlord, and we're getting both of them side by side. Uh, could we paint a prettier picture there? Could that be a Mother's and Father's Day gift for them? Uh, I guess it would have to be next year. I don't think they're going to be out in time. But it looks like we do got those guys coming. We also, I forgot to mention, King Booker, we're getting him re-released as well. Probably the re-release of the old Target exclusive, I would imagine, there. And then right up front, I forgot to mention this one. In Ode to the Old Hasbro Days, we got Jim Neidhart in his taxi driver outfit looking absolutely wild there. I don't know what to think of that Jim Neidhart, but it's a must-have. It's a must-have. Got to pick that up. Uh, then we did see some retros. They always have the little retro portion. I got to unbox my retro ring. I just got that this week. But it looks like Brother Love coming to the line. Shout out to old Brother Love. He's got the big book of love with him as well, the microphone. Not a fan of that soup mold. I wish they could move on to something different. It is what it is. Get the most out of your molds, as we know. Then we move again to the Superstars line. Another line playing all those hits is Brutus the Barber Beefcake. A little bit better uh, version of him. And much like the big boss man, he feels like he just fits in that line to me. We also got Scott Hall returning to the line once again. Looks like to be the Wolfpack version there. And then in uh, the WCW Monday Night Wars, once again, a two-in-one figure. We are getting Kurt Henning in his NWO gear. Oh, Kurt Henning, one of the biggest missed opportunities in wrestling history. I always do say it. He should have stayed in the Four Horsemen. He shouldn't have turned on him. I think he would have been amazing kind of in that leader role or Arn Anderson role in uh, the Horsemen. I think that would have been amazing. That's what they needed in WCW at the time. You needed somebody, a real threat against NWO, and I think Kurt Henning would have really worked in there. Instead, he went to the NWO and just kind of got lost in the shuffle, if you ask me me but then he joined the old west texas rednecks and you know he hates rap he hates it i saw him one time talk to flavor flav and he said flavor flav i hate you and then he smashed his clock on his head i might have just made that up somebody fact check that if you want to but you do get the cowboy hat with kurt henning very very cool get me barry windham get me kendall windham uh who else was in there bobby duncombe let's get those west texas rednecks let's complete that team i'm here for that now we turn our attention to some other news and stuff and we do got some pretty promotional images and some figures we already talked about that usually means we're right around the corner from an official release dominic mysterio 109 in packaging looking good Series 109, Damian Priest, once again, the Judgment Day. Bailey doing Bailey things in 109 as well. And then we get, of course, Cody Rhodes, which I don't know, did we know this was going to be suited? I can't remember if we knew that or not. It is going to have a little announcer's chair and stuff. Cody Rhodes wears a lot of suits. I'm here for a suited one. It does feel different. You need some difference. We can't just have ring gear all the time, Cody. Let's mix it up. And I think the Tell team's doing a good job right there in 109. We do get Seth Rollins return to the line. No stranger to any line is Seth Rollins in 109. New title belt as well. I think that's the first time we're going to get that title belt. Should be exciting for a lot of people. And then we got Shinsuke Nakamura times two. And at first when I saw that, I said, how are we going to know which one's the chase, which one's the regular? Is he's got that robe on? Well, you look at the hands there. The white and black, that is the regular edition. The red is going to be Chase. A lot of ways to mix this one up if you want to with the big robe on, robe on, robe off. How do you want to do it? Pick your poison. Choose your own Shinsuke Nakamura adventure is what you got to do at the end of the day. But we should be seeing those fairly soon. Uh, whenever we see glamour shots like that, it's usually maybe a month away from shipping. So wouldn't be shocked to see those by maybe the end of April, maybe early May at the latest. We'll see what happens there. Moving over to retros, we talked about these a couple weeks ago, once again, but British Bulldog, he comes from all the lines, apparently. We're getting it from Hassel Toys, we're getting it from the WWE. It's a retro mania for the British Bulldog this year. We might have to do a top five British Bulldog figures in 2024 with things, before things are said and done. We did see some Coliseum collections here, and I'm really coming around to this Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. This was announced quite a while ago on the Mattel Unrevealed, or Mattel Revealed is what it was called. I like this gi on the top. I like a little extra color. I don't mind the black color either for Ricky Steamboat here. I like the one behind him as well. I kind of like that second head back there, a little stoic dragon. Give me that one. I'm here for that. And then a guy that's all about the money, old million dollar man, Teddy Biasi. I like this one as well. Throwback to the old LJN days. I hope that money stays in the hands better than it does. It's kind of hard to get in there sometimes, but I'm here for that Teddy Biasi. It looks pretty good. We got the whole Coliseum collection set up there. 
all the classic characters. Absolutely love that line. Hopefully it goes deeper. We'll see what happens in the future. Give me the Ultimate Warrior Honky Tonk Man 2-pack. That'll be a record breaker. A record breaker. Let's get that one one of these days. One little Easter egg on the retros. Looks like we're getting a World Heavyweight title somewhere along the line as well. So I think that is pretty cool. If you remember the old school days of the ring, you got that with it. It was a must-have. A must-have if there ever was one. I did talk about that DDP right at the top. Here's the other version of DDP and the different color jeans. Choose your own jean adventure or get both. Why not? DDP would appreciate it for sure. And then we did get Shawn Michaels. It looks like Commissioner Michaels here. And I liked that they gave him black. We did get the one in brown suit. Probably one of the most rare figures, of course, in all of the Mattel years is the Build-A-Figure Commissioner Shawn Michaels. I liked that they gave us one in black instead of brown because I think that wasn't that great of a figure. Let's keep that one special. Let's give a better one right here. And it looks like that's what they did there. So I think a lot of people will be excited to see that one uh, in their collection. I have a feeling. So there you go. And that is it. We did see a poster. I guess this was given away at the Braun Strowman meet and greet, but it's an Ultimate Collection poster. That looks pretty cool there. I guess there's a couple of things. Uh, but if you want that, I'm sure that'll be floating around uh, maybe from Mattel, maybe on eBay, things like that, if you're into the poster game a little bit. We also saw Stone Cold Steve Austin with a real-life shirt, one you pull over his head. We've seen those in the past. We're getting him, apparently, a part of the Monday Night Wars line once again. Another one of those classic Austin shirts from back in the day. I think a lot of people will be there for that. And it looks like the Target Legends Ultimate is going to be ready for Vader time. You know me, I love Vader. So we got two Vaders coming, different singlets there. Multiple head sculpts going on. I'm here for that. I don't know if it's too soon for another Vader, but it looks like he'll be coming to Target. I would assume maybe the fall time frame. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but a lot of people love their big men, myself included. You know I love my big wrestlers, so I got to get Vader in the collection. No doubt there. And then the final piece of the puzzle, and apparently this goes up for pre-order with the Legends Wave with Big Bubba Rogers, Hogan, we talked about last week. It is going to be the Undertaker Ultimate Legend. I don't believe there's going to be a chase for this one. It doesn't sound like it at least, but we're getting the Undertaker three head sculpts. A classic Undertaker, what is this, roughly 2000, 2001, something like that. I think a lot of folks, folks, yes, I use the word folks, will be after that Undertaker there. So there it is. That's day one of the reveals so far. I will be doing, of course, a toy news on Saturday, so any more news that comes will be in that video, so make sure you're checking that out. Make sure you're checking out all the videos on the channel, as I always do say. But very excited to see what else is in store for Mania Weekend. CM Punk's doing the panel with the Mattel team on Sunday. We know that pre-order is going live as well. So you got to jump in on that CM Punk. I'm sure there'll be other things talked about, maybe some reveals of some future CM Punks, uh, and maybe some other stuff as well. So it should be a fun weekend. It's one of the biggest weekends, of course. It is the biggest weekend for wrestling fans. you got two nights of WrestleMania. you got NXT. Heck, you got AEW Collision. you got AEW Rampage, all that stuff. There's a lot going on this week, including my daughter Emma, her birthday on Sunday. Shout out to Emma. Happy birthday to Emma. She's rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling like she ever has been. Shout out to Emma and her birthday, of course. So there it is. That is the reveals for today. What are you guys thinking? What did you like out of this? It's a lot to digest. You got to let it soak it in. You got to drink it in, man, like a young Chris Jericho. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. And it's been far, as you guys do know, like 33 minutes or something like that. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We've got a big giveaway when we hit 40,000 subscribers. We're knocking on the door. Check out the Manitar unboxing review video for all the details in that giveaway. The biggest giveaway we'll probably ever have on the channel is we're giving away a one-on-one -on -one figure. So there you go. But check out that review. Find all the rules there and subscribe to the channel. And subscribe to my other YouTube channel while you're at it. Don't forget about Patreon. Early access to videos like this. Bonus content. Exclusive content. Giveaways. Q&As pictures for every video it's all over there on the old patreon it is truly the best way to support this fair youtube channel you can also support the channel pressandtees.com search kyle peterson and don't forget my book over at barnes and noble the exclusive chase variant hardcover almost 700 pages it is the complete guide to classic superstars soft cover on sale at amazon right now for 62 dollars and change pick it up it's this deal and we got to get a deal out there but appreciate all the support on the book and of course if you want an autograph copy hit me up at sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for mattel reveals day one i'm kyle see you guys all real soon